Hey, what's up guys? In front of me, I have two cardboard boxes. Inside them, we have a solar panel and we have a portable power station. This is both by All Powers. This is the R1500 and it's supposed to be a fairly powerful power station, a portable power station. And so I'm basically gonna charge this thing with solar, see how that does and just play with it. And I'm gonna run a bunch of different things off this from basic stuff like a tablet and a laptop to running my fridge off of it and maybe I'll even try a power tool just to see how well it does. So let's get started. So we'll start with the power station. It is the R1500 so you do get the manual, uh, different languages and stuff. Visit us. It comes in this sleeve. Uh, it does come with this little pouch and the power is inside. It looks like the AC to DC is built into this thing which makes sense. So if you want to plug it to the wall and charge it that way, you can do that as well. You don't just have to charge it via solar. Uh, and then the power bank itself has handles on the sides from here. And yes, it's heavy. Um, the cool thing is it looks like there's wireless charging up on top. It does come 66% charged. So zoomed into the power bank, this is essentially all the outputs. The inputs are on the sides. Uh, but we have two USB-A's, two USB-C's. Uh, for each section, they kind of put like a group box here. And you basically, if you want to use this section, you would hit this button and it would turn on that, enable that section. Um, and the same is true, you have four outlets right here. And yeah, and then they, they go in. So you actually, I open these up, but you basically, it takes a little bit of effort to open them. Uh, just enough that it's not hard to do, uh, but it was not going to go loose on you. So it's actually a good amount there. This one is a tad bit easier to open, but it stays secure. Again, if you want to turn this on, uh, you press this and it turns on. Uh, and then, you know, this basically, I held that and it essentially turned on and hold that and it turns off. All right, so looking on the side, this is where the handle is. That's where you hold it. There is a little bit of a rubber area there, so it's kind of comfortable to hold from there. But again, it is heavy. Um, these are your inputs. So you could charge it via AC. Th this part, I feel like it opens up all the way. The other side is a bit smoother, but you guys hear a little bit of a snap. I mean, I don't have to open it up all the way, but if I do, there it is. It's like there's like a plastic piece that's caught up in there. Um, unless it's supposed to be like that, so it can actually stay like that. Who knows? Um, but power goes here, reset, and the solar, and then boom, if you want to close it, clip it in, you're good to go. All right, and it looks like this one's to expand your batteries, port one and port two. See, this one's smoother. Can you guys hear that? So I felt like there's probably just something in there that's, uh, but I guess you can extend these if you wanted to. And again, the same grip is here. And the back is just like the serial number and stuff. So uh, nothing to that. And then there on the bottom, there are rubber uh, feet. Now we're gonna get to the solar panel. So this thing comes zipped up, I unzipped it. And essentially the solar panel comes out with these two plugs right here, right there. And then you have a bunch of adapters that it comes with. So you have the literal plus and minus right here. I think these are designed to connect directly to the battery LEDs. Um, and again, these tips would connect to that side. I don't have that, so that's useless to me, um, at least as of now. Um, this is the one I'm used to where I connect, like I have the Jackery um, power banks and they use a size, I think it's larger than this, but it's similar to this. And again, connect that. And with this one, you can actually use, you know, you could use all these different sizes. So I could, you know, uh, basically take this out, pop this in here, and then boom, now I have a different size, which is nice. And then these two are very similar to each other. So they're adapters right there. Very, very similar to each other. Um, so one of these goes to the power bank. I'll figure out which one and then I will connect it to this and uh, Yeah, we should be good to go and the solar panel itself, you know, it has the legs so you could lean it on the legs if you wanted to 
All right, so for the power bank, we are going to use this one. It fits in perfectly. So this one I will connect. Uh, and connection is pretty straightforward. It's not like you're going to connect these two, right? So you go in and it clips in and then boom. Once the clips are in right there, you're good to go. And again, with this one, just go in and boom, you're done. Super, super simple. And then point this to the sun. Obviously not when it's raining or anything like that. Gives you some directions right here. Uh, basically, don't put it out in the rain. Uh, make sure it's facing the sun that way to get the maximum amount of power. And then basically plug this into the side and we should be good to go. And in case you guys are wondering, this is what the front looks like. So you would open it up that way and just, you know, unfold it. I mean, this thing is massive. All right, so I put the solar panel outside pointing to the sun. There are some clouds passing in the sky. So if I point up, there are a few clouds passing. So uh, it usually goes down and goes up when that happens. So that wire is connected directly to the power bank. I did put the power bank inside so you guys could see that a bit easier. Uh, it's currently taking 154 watts of uh, energy, 153 now. So the number right there, I mean, you guys know what that is. <laughs> Why am I even pointing to it? <laughs> it's like from all the numbers, I can't see what it is. Um, so the highest I saw was 178 watts and the lowest I saw was 15 watts. And uh, it really just depends on the cloud. Placement really makes a big deal. So I brought my angle grinder and this one says 120 volts at seven and a half amps, which is going to be less than uh, the 1800 watts max. And in fact, this has like a 3000 watts peak or something like that. So as you guys could see, it's, you know, it doesn't turn on, plugs in. So I will plug this in and uh, let's see what happens. Let's pay attention to the voltage as well. All right, let's unplug it. If it could power my angle grinder, it could definitely power my uh, <laughs> tablet and laptops. Uh, zero watts output. I connect this, it should jump up. It's starting to charge. Lights on. Okay, 3262, 86, 125, 130. Okay, so 130 watts. I have the USB C's connected, so I'll plug in my phone. Okay, that thing's charging, obviously. Uh, it says super fast charging, which is nice. Okay, 142. All right, now let's charge my iPad. So let's just open this up. Okay, so I will plug that in. Okay, you can see that it's charging right there. Okay, we're at 172 watts. Um, but I, I just want to demo that even with all this stuff on and charging, I'm going to turn this on. Let's see what happens. Well, this thing is officially a beast. Again, unplugged it, doesn't turn on. So there's no tricks or anything like that here. Let's now try wireless charging. Galaxy S24 Ultra. Charges right away. It says fast wireless charging right there. One plus 12. Didn't pick it up right away. Let's try it one more time. There it is, picked it up this time. So one plus 12 is also charging. And let's try the popular iPhone. Charging immediately. And uh, let's try the Pixel 8 Pro. Charging, well, it's at 100% charge, so. 
So yeah, let's try the 1 plus 12 again. There it is. I think I just have to put this one up just a tad bit higher and I'll pick it up. Now from the wall power, it is charging a lot faster. It's pretty much charging at about a kilowatt um, versus the 160, 170 watts it was taking from the solar panel. So it will charge much, much quicker off the wall power. Paying a little more attention to the screen, there are some indicators here. So it looks like it is being charged uh, via the power plug. So if I were to unplug that, that icon would disappear. The fan is on. to keep it cool. So you see the little fan icon. If you turn this on, it not only turns on this part, but it also turns on this part. And you guys could see that with the icon. So if I hit that, it turns on the USB and the car. So it's, it's both of these. So that's why this one doesn't have a separate button. And then if I hit this button, this turns on the universal power supply, essentially the essentially equivalent to a wall outlet. All right guys, I have moved my fridge back for the sake of this video, just to show you guys that it can also charge my fridge. So I'm gonna plug it in right here, turn, turn this on. You'll see some power draw on the output and uh, my fridge should go back on. There it is. Charges the fridge no problem. And the fridge is it's it's around 350 and then it kind of idles around 20. Um and then it goes back to like 350. So that's I've noticed that with this fridge. All right, and we'll end the video by charging up two scooters. I got the Apollo Pro right there charging up. And we have the Segway 9bot Max G2 which is charging up right here. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of electric bikes and scooters and uh, this thing's pretty awesome. One of the other advantages of this that I didn't mention is like if you're going camping or you know, if you're going to the park and you're taking your RC car and um, I mean this thing, it's, it's convenient to have a power bank. That's why like I had a, a smaller one like I have the Jackery, this is the 500 watt, and th now this one works fine as well. It's nowhere near as powerful as this one, and it doesn't have as many ports or features. Um, it doesn't have the wireless charging and stuff, but um, it also works fine. So, power portable power stations are pretty awesome. I haven't used this for a, a long time, so I can't speak to its longevity, uh, but for the short amount of time that I've had it, it has been working great. So if you guys, you know, let me know if you guys have questions or comments. I haven't played with putting portable power stations in series or in parallel or uh, basically connecting them to each other to nothing like that. So I have no experience with that. Uh, but really, I mean, there's really not much there to it. It's, it's just like a big beefy power bank. Um, you could literally run power tools and other things like that. Um, I mean, I, I haven't tried the craziest power tools, but I mean, the fact that it worked in, with an angle grinder was already pretty impressive. Um, it could charge up the scooters, as you guys could see, and the solar panel does give it a decent amount of power. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below, and as always, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.